Sir, when the uh, muezzin goes up in the minaret twice a day, he cries to the world, there is but one God, and he is Allah. Do you deny that there is a Christian God? Uh, the muezzin does this five times a day. Five times, and I only heard him twice. Well, you were fortunate to hear him twice. <laughs> but he does this five times a day, and the same God that he says uh, that he expresses the existence of is the God that the Christians profess to believe in themselves and the God that the Jews believe in, one God, the creator of the universe. The Muslims believe in the God that created the universe, and I think the Christians do, and the Jews do. Now, as long as all of them are talking about the creator, uh, the Jews may call him Jehovah, and Christians may have another name for him. Those who are Arabic-speaking refer to him as Allah. Well, we believe in the same God. yourselves before your prophet? Muhammad is a man. We kneel only to God. Now, now, Why did your prophet send you to me? Because you believe in the book of the one God as we do. He sent us because in your heart God will protect us. Go on. I speak of the messenger of God. Muhammad teaches us to worship one God, to speak truth, to love our neighbors as ourselves. To give charity. Even a smile can be charity. To protect women from misuse. To shelter orphans. And to turn away from gods of wood and stone. I cannot keep still and hear this blasphemy. We are an ancient civilization. To call our gods wood and stone is to speak ignorantly of them. Idol, the form, is not what we worship, but the spirit that resides within the form. Now let me bring him back to the women. God made woman to be the proper companion of man. She is different, but equal. Equal! We buy them, feed them, clothe them, use them, discard them. Women equal to us? <laughs> God created man from one male and one female. Now, oh, you must respect in all women the womb that bore you. Why are your 300 gods so tongue-tied? While his only God is eloquent. God has spoken to us before. Through Abraham, Noah, Moses, and through Jesus Christ. Who taught you those names? They are named in the Quran. I knew Mohammed when he was an orphan minding sheep. And we knew Christ as a carpenter. What Christ says, and what your Muhammad says, is like two rays from the same lamp. They are lying to you. They deny Christ. You worship three gods, they say. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they say. What do you say of Christ? They say God cannot have a son. Christ is not the Son of God. Speak to me of Christ. We say of Christ what our prophet has taught us. That God cast his Holy Spirit into the womb of a virgin named Mary. And that she conceived Christ, the apostle of God. The apostle, he says, not the son, not the son. What does your miracle, your Quran, say of the birth of our dear Lord Jesus Christ? In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Relate in the book the story of Mary. How she withdrew from her family to a place in the east. How we sent to her our angel, Gabriel, who said, I am a messenger from your God to announce the birth of a holy son to you. She said, how shall I, Mary, have a son when no man has touched me? And 
Gabriel replied, For your Lord says, it will happen. We appoint him as a sign unto man, and a mercy from us. The difference between us Thicker than the sky. Not for a mountain of gold will I give them up to you. You may be shocked by these words, but I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and prayed to the same God with fellow Muslims whose eyes were blue, whose hair was blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. And we were all brothers, true, people of all colors and races believing in one God and one humanity. Each hour here in this sacred land enables me to have a greater spiritual insight into what is happening in America. The American Negro can never be blamed for his racial animosity. He's only reacting to 400 years of oppression and discrimination. But as racism leads America up the suicidal path, I do believe that the younger generation will see the handwriting on the wall, and many of them will want to turn to the spiritual path of the truth. The only way left in this world to ward off the disaster that racism must surely lead to. In all honesty and sincerity, it can be stated that I wish nothing but freedom, justice, and equality. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for all people. Now my first concern, of course, is with the group to which I belong. For we, more than any others, are deprived of our inalienable rights. But I believe the true practice of Islam can remove the cancer of racism from the hearts and the souls of all Americans. And if I can die having brought any light, having exposed any meaningful truth that will help destroy this disease, then all the credit is due to Allah, the Lord of all the worlds. And only the mistakes have been mine. Assalamu alaikum. Get your hands up! 